Hey everyone, welcome to your 30 minute full body workout with an abs finisher. Very proud of you for showing up today, first of all. I want to get you set up and get you ready so you know how the training variables are going to go for you, what weights you need to use, and then kind of how the workout will flow for you. So, training variables today, we're still rocking between 75 and 85 percent of your max weights from both specific exercises. Your tempo is going to be two seconds, zero seconds, and two seconds, which just talks about the eccentric and the concentric parts of your lift. So, think about one two, one, two, just how long you lower and lift. So keep that moderate tempo in mind throughout the entire workout. We'll have supersets today too. So we're venturing into pairing two exercises together. This week it will be for an upper and a lower body. So we'll have a glute bridge and a chest press. We'll have a deadlift and we'll have a bent row. So pairing upper and lower together in 45 second work periods, 45, 45, then we rest, okay? We'll have that ab finisher at the end and be ready to put something like a plate or a dumbbell on your back for that plank if you are able to. Let's go ahead and get warmed up. Before we get started, make sure you are subscribed to the channel and I'll see you there. All right, let's start off pulling heels to glutes. Two, one, here we go. There we go, good job. Got some hamstring work today. We've got some glute work today. Little lunge. And then for the upper body, got rows, chest press, a little shoulder work with the lateral raises. Let's go butt kicks. And then some weighted core at the end because I do want to continue building your core muscles, not just getting them to the point where they're burning, but actually putting resistance on them so they fight against that to get stronger. Good, step nice and wide. Bent leg, straight leg. Just 30 minutes today, so push hard. We're gonna hit the whole body. Gonna leave feeling proud. And I want you to push those weights. Push up a little heavier than you might think you can. Stay down here in the front, step it back, plank position. Tap your left leg up and then your right leg. One more each side. Good, step up both legs. Hips are nice and tall, little hamstring stretch here. Slowly roll it up to the top, let's push. Good, twist, twist. I'm gonna challenge you to try and use a weight in these two exercise supersets that's very similar. So, first one we have bent rows and deadlifts. We'll go there in 30 seconds. Okay, so we're gonna start off alternating. You can feel free to go on the bench or on the floor, then going right into deadlifts, okay? So something that challenges you where you can say, yeah, both of those exercises, this weight made it tough for me, okay? So 15 or 10 seconds left, we're starting with the rows. All right, make sure your back is flat. Exhale, four, two, one, let's go. Forty-five, then we head right into deadlifts. Fifteen. One more, three, two, right into deadlifts. Here we go. And if this is a little too light, maybe you can go single leg, stagger it up. You're strong, let's go. Good job, 10 more seconds. Four, two, one, 
And rest, good. All right, 15 seconds, round two. If you can go heavier, let's do it. All right, here we go. Four, three, two, come on. There you go, big strong back. Ten, right into deadlifts in seven. Two, one, all right, let's go. One more, two, one, rest. Whew. Try not to talk too much in the working sets so you can focus. If you can go up at all, this is round three, last round of both of those, okay? Even if you have to set out maybe different weights for your deadlift, that's okay. Ready, let's go. Good job, 30 seconds down, 15 to go. Two, one, deadlifts, go. Good job, breathe. 45 here, and then we're moving on. Stretch, squeeze. Last 10. All right, if you're working on your grip strength, I'm right there with you, doing the same thing. The point is we're all working on something. Stay focused on that, the progress, the process. All right, we're moving down to the floor. We've got a glute bridge and chest press combo. So in this one, we will have 15 seconds in between our chest press and glute bridge to get resituated with our weights. But in 10 seconds, we will go, and we're gonna start with the chest press. All right, I'm gonna start with my 25s. Let's go for it. Two, and here we go, up. If you're on a bench, you're gonna get the ability to stretch a little bit more. If you're on the ground, tap and go. Remember, one, two, one, two. Great job, 15. Three, two, one, rest, 
Good job. Glute bridge weight, throw it right on your hips. And we'll go there in seven. Three, two, and up, down. There you go, breathe out and squeeze together from the ground all the way up. Good work. Two, one, rest. All right, breathe. Back to chest press. If you can go up, let's do it. This is your time. Two, one, punch. Good job, 10 seconds. One more. Two, one, good. Glute bridge weight, grab a heavier one if you need it. Four, three, two, one, bridge, come on. Nice work. Last 20. Seven. Come on, come on. Big push. One more and rest. Okay, if you've got anything left in the tank to go up, for that chest press, round three is the time to do it. I'm gonna go with you. Four, three, two, one. Let's go, come on. You're gonna surprise yourself with how strong you are. Don't doubt that. Good job. Last 20. Breathe, great work. Seven. One more. Rest. Whew. All right. Glute bridge, last round. Whew. Three, two, one, let's go. Good job, hips to the sky. Don't leave your glutes relaxed on the way down. Squeeze and then slowly release so that the ground is when they fully relax. As soon as you take off again, squeeze. Great job, four. One more really good one, two. And rest. <laughs> All right, come on up. Now that I have every single dumbbell out around me, come on up, grab some water. We're gonna go lateral raises and lateral lunges. 
okay? So whatever weight you use for the raises, you're gonna hold both of them for the lunges, okay? I'm gonna start with my tens. All right, and we'll go in 15. All right, so raises here. No rest in between this one, we just go right here, okay? Think of it as a single leg squat when you step out into that lateral lunge. Two, one, let's go. Great work, and if you think this weight might be too light for your lateral lunges, I challenge you to try a front rack lateral lunge when we get there, okay? Fifteen. Good work. Five. Two. One. Here we go. Like I said, you need to make this a little tougher. Go right here and sit a lot lower. Good. Trust yourself to get low in that squat. <laughs> 10 seconds and we rest. One more. And rest, good. Now I know this lateral raise isn't necessarily one that you can continue to bump up and bump up, but if you go a little heavier, you also have the option to alternate, okay? I'm gonna go there with you. Let's go. Three, two, one, get it. The advantage here is you get to rest a little bit more per arm in between reps, allowing you to challenge yourself by moving a heavier weight. Fifteen. One more. Three. Two, one, lateral lunge, get it. Good job. 15. Five. One more. Two. Rest. Whew. One more round. How you doing? Pretty good? Grab water. Go up if you can on this one. Two, and go. One more, four, two, lateral lunge, go.
30 seconds, let's go. Sit, sit, sit. Fifteen. Push. Come on, sit low. Big push. One more each side. Two. One. Great job. Breathe. Now we go down into core. Whew. All right, grab water. Head down to the floor. We're gonna start with a good old sit up, all right? If you need help on the sit up, you can challenge yourself to put your feet under something like dumbbells or your couch or a chair. Would rather you not use the dumbbell to swing you up, okay? But instead, get used to your body weight with a little bit of assistance by putting your toe leveraged under something, okay? We're going right here. Three, two, one, get it. Great job. Eight seconds, you're gonna lift that dumbbell up over your chest and bicycle. Two, one, let's go. So you're crunching here against this weight. Legs are moving away. Great job, 15. Five, three, two, one, and rest for 15. Whew. Great job. Same thing, round number two. How you doing? Good? I know this is tough. I know you're strong. Sit ups, let's go. Fifteen, and we'll do it again. Bicycles with the weight crunched over your chest. Three, two, bicycles, go. And if you need a modification, Heels down, you're still crunched up. One leg marches in at a time. Okay, you're still crunching against this weight. Whew. Twelve. And rest. Oh, ah. breathe. Ah. Weighted sit ups. One last round. Go up if you can. Three. Let's go.
Great job. Keep breathing with me. Two, one, bicycles, go. Stay with me, stay with me. Crunch it up, crunch it up. 15. Six. And rest. Ow. Okay, dumbbell down. We've got the plank. Finisher, okay? I'm challenging you to weight this plank. W-E-I-G-H-T. Breathe, <laughs> I need to breathe too. But if you can, on your back, you can place a dumbbell in this plank, okay? We're gonna go in five seconds, 45 seconds of work, then we'll rest for 15. Ready? Let's go. Just kind of get comfortable being uncomfortable. Good job, you're already 30 seconds in, you got 15 to go. Fight for it, come on. Rest, good. Round two, we start in 15. Whew. Shoulder or elbow cushion if you need it. You can roll up your towel, you can roll up your mat. Two, one, let's rock. Think about your form here. Don't let your belly sag. I have this weight on your back to help you fight against that. If your butt's too high, you're gonna feel that dumbbell start rolling around. Think about your heels and your head reaching away from each other. 15. Two, one, rest. <sighs> go down if you need to, go up if you can. <sighs> 45 seconds and we've made it, okay? I know this is burning, I know your shoulders are on fire. Abs, yes. Two, one, come on, we're in it together. Let's go. Strong, strong focus. Don't let yourself down here by saying, ah, it would feel good if I dropped down. It's gonna feel better when you're done and you look back and say, oh my gosh, I overcame so many times where I wanted to quit, where I was shaking. You got 12 seconds, I know you can hold up here. <laughs> And rest. Okay. We made it. <laughs> Great job. Dump that weight off to the side. Let's go ahead and have a seat here in the front. Left foot in, right leg out straight. Big deep breath. We made it. Good work today. I want you to go forward. Comment below what you thought of the core circuit, okay? And what I hope to hear you say is, I didn't think I could do it and I could, or I challenged myself with heavier weights than I thought I could. Something in that regard, to where you recognize how powerful it is to push yourself past your own preconceived notions of your best. 
switch it up because a lot of times we limit ourselves to, here's what I've done before, so I'll just kind of stay here. My goal for you this month is to say, but what if I could jump up to that next weight? Okay, I wasn't sure I was gonna be able to do that last set of planks, but I thought if someone's looking at me and they're seeing me struggle, which I always show you, and they're seeing me say, you know what, just do it. Just don't give yourself the idea that you can drop and think about how proud of yourself you'll be at the end. That's what I wanted you to get out of that. Okay, legs out straight. Let's reach for your toes. Always, always, always try the biggest challenge. If you need to drop down, you can. But a lot of times you're gonna surprise yourself with what you're truly capable of versus what you think you're probably capable of. And by the way, there's a lot of research on this too. Go ahead and stand up. People being tested, right? Show me what weight you can do for 10 reps of bench press, the maximum weight you could do for 10. And most people tended to be able to do somewhere around 16 reps of the weight that they chose for their 10 rep max. We always perceive things are gonna be a lot harder than they are exactly when we put ourselves to the test. But when we show up and we say, let me try, let me just increase it a little bit more than I think. You jump out of that safe zone, that's where changes are made, okay? Cross it over. If you need to lean your head away, go ahead. It feels pretty good on the neck and the traps. Good job, let's just open up the hands here. A little bit of forearm stretch because I know you were holding dumbbells for a lot of that workout. And when you go forward today, I want you to remember that research and kind of put yourself to the test in that way somewhere else in your life. Your preconceived notion of what's my best effort might not truly be your best effort. It might be just what you've currently done the best at, okay, if that makes sense. So if I challenged you, hey, give me three full days of you really hitting your nutrition goals and you say, I've only hit two before, that's all I can do. Probably not, it's probably because you haven't tried three maybe, or you've done something to kind of let yourself off the hook for day number three. Push past that limit that you have in your mind of what you're really capable of and just say, no matter what, I'm going to do it. I'm gonna put my head down and be headstrong in the pursuit of whatever it is that I'm currently struggling with, okay? Just keep acting, keep moving, keep yourself going instead of saying, oh, this was hard, I'm throwing my hands up, okay? You got this, you're stronger than you think you are. Before you head out, make sure you give the video a big thumbs up and I appreciate you trading with me today. I'll see you back here for our next one. Great job.